of the details in the poem, Grandmother's Quilt, support the theme of family. In this lesson, you will learn how to summarize a poem by naming the major theme and adding supporting evidence. Let's review. When we summarize, we don't include everything the poet says. Instead, we drill it down to the most important information. In other words, we sum it up in a condensed or shorter version. The theme of a poem is an idea developed over time. It's how the speaker reflects on a topic. In the case of the poem, Grandmother's Quilt, what are the most essential ideas discussed in this poem? In other words, how does the speaker, the grandmother, feel about the topic, the quilt? Well, to answer these questions, first, let's identify the theme of the poem. Then, let's find and underline evidence from the text. Then, we will be able to write a summary explaining the theme of the poem using the evidence you collected. Okay, in the beginning of the poem, the author writes, this is just a plain log cabin quilt, pieced out of odds and ends. She compares it to her rose quilt, all white and green and pink, which is really handsome. Then, at the conclusion of the poem, the author restates, just odds and ends, no great for looks, and again, she says, my rose quilt's nicer far. However, in the last line of the poem, the bed won't look so neat, but I think I would sleep better with it so across my feet. This quilt is like a security blanket to the speaker. The rose quilt looks much nicer, but the grandmother thinks she will sleep better with the plain quilt on her feet. Why is that? Why will she sleep better? From a careful close reading of the poem, we have learned that family really matters to the speaker. Sentimental heirlooms have much more value to her than flashy new things. This idea is repeated throughout the poem. Therefore, the theme of the poem is the love of family and the memories that go with it. Now we need to find out, how does she arrive at that opinion? Why does she think she will sleep better with the plain block quilt instead of the more handsome rose one? Let's find and underline some evidence from the text. Well, we see that Grandmother has made the quilt and has included her son's frock from before he walked and his first suit, which she also made. She is remembering her son and thinking about how cute he looked as a child. We also see from the text that she remembers her child, Ruth, and some younger girls, and her baby, Winnie. We can see that Grandmother is excited about the memories she has when she looks at the squares in the quilt. If we look further, we can see that she also remembers her mother, little Edson, her sister Jane, and even some clothing that reminds her of herself as a child. I can see that each scrap of material reminds her of another family member. And we can also see that the author obviously wanted to convey the grandmother's excitement as she explains the sentimental value of the quilt to her child, or her grandchild. Her enthusiasm is obvious. So now I know that the theme of the poem is family, and I know the grandmother will sleep better with the plain block quilt because it has a special meaning to her, and I've collected some evidence to help me prove that in my summary. Now, how can I put it all together? Well, the theme of the poem is obviously family. Grandmother will sleep better with the plain block quilt on her feet. Because even though it's not as pretty as the rose quilt, the sentimental value and the precious family memories she recalls when she thinks about the block quilt give her great comfort and joy. And each sun piece 
is a great memory for her. In this lesson, we identified the theme of the poem, then we found some evidence and underlined it in the text, and last we wrote a summary explaining the theme using the evidence we collected. In this lesson, you have learned how to summarize a poem by naming the major theme and adding supporting evidence.